वालेकुम वरह वरक डीवा चढ़ी सब्सक्राइबर उम्मीद करता हूँ दिल से दुआ करता हूँ कि आप सब लोग ईमान और सेहत की अल्लाह तरीन सतह पर होंगे मैं मोटिवेशनल स्पीकर लीडरशिप बिजनेस कोच मास्टर ट्रेनर लैंग्वेज ट्रेनर प्रोफेसर एम रजा और बुक रिव्यूज़ में एम इंग्लिश पार्ट टू सीरीज़ के अंदर आज हमारा टॉपिक है अ क्रिटिकल हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर लेटेस्ट एडिशन वॉलीम वन टू फोर बाई डेविड डेशीज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट चलिए शुरू करते हैं बिना वक्त ज़ाय किए और बुक की पेशानी जी अ क्रिटिकल हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर वॉलीम वन एंड देन डेविड डेशी इज़ अ क्रिटिकल हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इन फोर वॉलीम्स एंड देन एक्नोलिजमेंट टू माई फॉर्मर स्टूडेंट्स ऑन बोथ साइड्स ऑफ दैट एटलेंटिक एंड देन प्री फेज दिस इज़ एन एज ऑफ स्पेशलिस्ट स्कॉलर्स and for one man to attempt a complete history of uh, english literature is now both rash and unusual i cannot claim to be a specialist in all the periods on which i have written nor in spite of uh, my best attempts uh, have i been able to keep a uh, keep a a breast of uh, all new development in english studies but i have been reading english literature continuously and closely ever since i be gain my studies at edinburgh university in 1930 edinburgh university in 1930 and i have long felt the urge to describe the whole scene as i see it uh, this therefore is one man's history of english it is intended less as a work of references then as a work of description explanation and critical interpretation it is not meant to be look up but to be read or read to be read i've given myself generous space in dealing with major figures such as shakespeare's and milton without bothering whether in strict terms of relative great uh, greatness they deserves so much more than i have give given to some other writers indeed the chapters on shakespeare's and milton can perhaps stand as independent critical studies capable of being extracted from the rest of the history and read as short, uh, as short books nevertheless uh so the word critical in my title is important i have tried never to lose sight of the fact that this is a history not a series of separate critical studies and the appropriate kinds of historical gen- uh, generalization and the proper continuity of uh, narrative i have i hope been maintained throughout i may sometimes have then he deserves or rather briefly summarized something uh, summarized something important and well known but i i've tried to see my subject steadily and see it whole and i've tried to write in, uh, interestingly less as the impersonal scholars r- uh, recording facts than as the interested reader sharing his knowledge and opinions on matters of uh, pure scholarship i have of course uh, often had to de emphasizes uh, ass- uh, assessment i have do uh, i have done so as little as possible also occasionally even the most uh, uh, most cons- conscious critical historian must be content to take the word of sim- uh, sympathetic expert about the values of uh, an old minor the words of uh, minor work to which he himself have never devoted a great deal of careful attentions art is long and life is short art is long and life is short and one cannot always be holy original in everything i hope however that the pattern which a single mind imposes on this vast materials will make my account more lively and suggestive than the the conscious composite works of references by terms by teams of experts from which i have myself 
profited but which are not literally or literary history in the sense that this book is intended to be i've been more liberal in quotations from the work under the under discussions than is usual for a liter literary historian i've found the i found the found that the uh, critical side of uh, the work uh, demands this i have been deliberately in uh, inconsistent in the text of my quotations as a rule i've modernized spelling and punctuations so not in middle english text which lose too much by such modernization in 16th and 17th and 18th century text i have uh, retained the original spelling where it is important as giving a period flavor or indicating some historical speeches of the language or of uh, literary uh, conventions otherwise i have modernized it uh, my principle in the in this and other matters has been maxim maximum maximum uh, a maximum ease of reading compatible with sound scholarship and intellectual responsibility jesus college cambridge february 1960 david dishes okay ji ye sara kuch maine aapke samne is wajah se padha hai kyun zarurat padi hai sirf jo ek word tha the critical ka a critical history jo hai na kyunki history of english literature ligois aur kazemian ki main isse pehle aapko do parts ke andar detail mein jo hai na wo bata chuka tha तो इस वजह से ज़रूरी हो गया था कि जो क्रिटिकल हिस्ट्री है उसके अंदर जो है ना वो डिटेल क्या आ रही है उसको आपके सामने बयान करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट और ज़रूरी हो गया था कंटेंट्स वॉल्यूम वन चैप्टर एंग्लो सेक्सन लिटरेचर पेज नंबर थ्री द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ऑफ मिडल इंग्लिश प्रोज एंड वर्जेज पेज नंबर थर्टी वन मिडल इंग्लिश लिटरेचर फेबुला लिरिक ड्रीम्स एंड एलिग्री बैलेड्स at page number 68 chaucer gower fires plowman page number 89 the end of the middle ages ye chapter number hamara 5 hai aur end of the middle ages at page number 128 pe aa raha hai ji and the early uh, tudor scene 146 spencer and his time at page number 165 drama from the uh, miracle plays to morlo drama from miracle plays to morlo page number 208 yahan par hamara jo hai na volume 1 bhi jo hai wo complete ho raha hai aur volume 2 yahan se start ho raha hai shakespearean uh, or shakespeare page number 246 drama from johnson to the closing of uh, the uh, closing of the theaters page number 309 uske baad hai ji hamara चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन है पोइट्री आफ्टर स्पेंसर्स जॉनसन जॉनसेनियन एंड द मेटाफिजिकल ट्रेडिशंस पेज नंबर थ्री फोर्टी सिक्स पे उसके बाद ट्वेल्व पे जी जॉन मिल्टन और पेज नंबर थ्री नाइन्टी ट्वेल्व चैप्टर है एंड पेज नंबर थ्री नाइन्टी पे देन पेज नंबर थर्टीन प्रोज इन दिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन सेंचुरी फोर फिफ्टी एट पे फोर्टीन पे जी स्कॉटिश लिटरेचर टू सेवनटीन हंड्रेड पेज नंबर फाइव जीरो फोर पे उसके बाद जो है ना वॉल्यूम नंबर हमारा थ्री है जी एंड चैप्टर नंबर द रेस्टोरेशन पेज नंबर फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव थर्टी सेवन पे अगुस्टन एंड एज डिफो एंड स्विफ्ट और अलेक्जेंडर पोप एट पेज नंबर फाइव नाइन्टी पोइट्री फ्रॉम द टॉमसन टू क्रेब एट पेज नंबर सिक्स फिफ्टी एंड देन द नावल फ्राम फ्राम रिचर्डसन टू जेन आस्टन एट पेज नंबर सेवन हंड्रेड देन Uh, 18th century philosophical historical and uh, and critical prose and uh, miscellaneous writings page number 768 pe, uh, chapter number 6 from uh, volume 3 uh, scottish literature from alan ramsay to walter scott at uh, uh, 809 yahan par hamara jo na wo complete ho gaya ji volume 3 then volume number 4 the romantic poets uh, william blake william wordsworth and uh, s t coleridge 856 then the romanticism uh, romantic poets uh, from uh, uh, pbs shelley uh, and uh, P, uh, keats john keats and and uh, uh, byron then uh, uh, familiar critical and miscellaneous uh, prose of uh, the early and middle 19th century at 935 
then victorian prose uh, john henry a new man to william morris page number 961 chapter number 11 the victorian poets at page number 993 the victorian uh, novel at page 1049 drama from the beginning of uh, of the 18th century page number 1094 and then 20th century uh, prose uh, sorry poetry 20th century poetry at page 1122 and or 1122 and the last chapter of thy book uh, chapter number 29 the 20th century novel at page number 1152 index at page number 1179 so dear uh, dear students of ma english and uh, along with teachers junior teachers or uh, senior teachers and parents uh, a critical history of english literature uh, latest edition volume 1 to 4 david deshis ka humne aaj jo hai na review kiya hai so we will be right back with you with the new topic with the new vlog with the new gossip with the new lectures so let me go now and say with me do something more for humanity insaniyat ki behtari ke liye ek kadam aur